<sighs> oh, hey everybody, Syntax 77 here. Just hanging out here in uh, the woods of Pennsylvania, Michaux State Forest, actually, or even more specifically, the Pine Grove Furnace State Park. It's, uh, it's actually December, believe it or not, or maybe you can believe it, but I can't because I'm actually here and I can tell you it's quite warm. Uh, so my lovely wife Sarah and I, who is over there, possibly not in frame, but that was her uh, lovely voice. We decided uh, had to come out here, take advantage of this weather. Cameo! <laughs> you nailed it. Um, yeah, had to take advantage of this weather, come out here. We came up to a spot called Pole Steeple and uh, great views. Appalachian Trail runs right through here. It's great. But um, while we are here, brought our hammocks along and I decided it was a great opportunity to try out this new hammock I got my uh, hands on. Nice opportunity to try. It's by Go Outfitters. It's the, uh, I believe it's just called the Go Hammock or uh, yeah, by Go Outfitters. It was actually a Kickstarter campaign, um, which is over now. Apparently it was quite successful. And I think, um, all of those guys got their hammocks, you know, the um, people that contributed and whatnot, but uh, I did get reached out to by them and they said, do you want to try one out? I get emails all the time to try stuff, um, weird stuff too, and not so weird stuff. But anyway, I, I ignore most of them, but I checked out the Kickstarter page and was reading the feedback and everything and looking at the pictures and descriptions It looked pretty cool. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to share a new piece of gear with you guys. And then, I mean, let's be honest, I like to try stuff out too, right? So it is a nylon, 70D nylon hammock. It's 11 feet long. Uh, it comes, you can get just a hammock alone. If, for those of you out there who already have your own kits and you're ready to swap stuff out, just a hammock alone, I think it's 70 bucks or so. And you get the continuous uh, loops on there, I believe. But, um, and then just a hammock and the integrated stuff sack. And then uh, for like 30 bucks more, you can get the full everything you need kit, uh, which will throw in the straps, which I'll show you in more detail in a second, and the cinch buckles and the ridge line. So um, options are there. Like I said, it's nylon, what I got in, in it, if, um, but it's a, a, a heavier nylon, a 70D, which is nice. Uh, when I got in, I definitely feel a little stretch, but not, not in a bad way, at least from what I can tell yet. I haven't slept in it. but. Um, you know, a nice comfy amount of stretch, but it still feels, you know, uh, supportive. So that's nice. Um, you know, some of the polyester hammocks I like too. Um, it, it's all personal preference, but they have a lot less stretch. So if you like something with a little more give, I think you might want to, or you would probably like the way this is feeling on me right now, at least. Um, like I said, let me, let me hop out here and uh, walk around a little bit. I'll put my pack in it so that I can weigh it down and I'll show you some more features. All right, there we go. So up here, like I said, it has these cinch buckles if you choose to get them from them. If you already have your own, then you're gonna be good. Just pop your own continuous loops right on there for those of you who already have those systems of your own. But uh, the, I'll tell you what, these straps here, they are robust. They are thick. Uh, they do weigh seven and a half ounces, or is it seven and a quarter? I'm gonna call it seven and a half ounces per side, but that's for a 15 foot strap. Now it is a little heavier than usual, but they are thick, man. And I, I think what they're going for here is just to make sure that everybody's covered. They are a 3000 pound uh, breaking strength, which if you're familiar with straps, that's about double a regular strap, I do believe, um, or 400 pounds working load. Cause when you add those angles, right? All kinds of crazy math comes into play, but basically uh, you don't want to put actual 3,000 pounds on this thing if you're using it as a hammock. So about 400 pounds you can go up to and the same rating for the hammock. Uh, so those are some thick straps. They are ready to go in 15 feet. I think you're in pretty good shape there. Um, me personally, since I already have a plethora of straps and um, I don't weigh anywhere near 400 pounds, if I continue using this, I'll go ahead and throw my own straps on there. Kind of like Sarah has over here. These are regular or I should say, I don't know if you call them regular, but uh, these are camo nylon straps. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, but they're much thinner, but about half the weight rating. But you know, for our size, it's not a big deal. But uh, for you heavier guys, I think you're gonna be in good shape with these and certainly uh, look like they're gonna stand the test of time. 
The ridge line as well is much thicker than normal, so that thing looks pretty bomb proof. You can see it's got a nice braid on there too. I'm actually just noticing that now. Um, so that's a, a pretty legit ridge line there. So that's not going anywhere, that's for sure. And also it comes uh, standard with two carabiners. Uh, I apparently forgot mine, but that's okay because this is a good uh, opportunity to show you that if you want to save, I believe it's two ounces, the carabiners they send with this. If you want to save two ounces or if you forgot yours, it's not the end of the world. They're um, the pass-through loop system. Um, so, you know, you just go around the tree, slip it, to it uh, through itself, and then go down to the car uh, cinch buckle there, which uh, is built right into the, the loop there. So, not the end of the world. Again, me personally, I already own some Dutch clips, so I would probably put them on there, um, which are these little guys over here. See that little guy there? So there's no reason you couldn't use something like that. It basically does the same job as a carabiner, but uh, a little cooler. But anyway, um, so yeah, got that running. Now the way I have this set up here, everything that you see here is I weighed it out to 21.5 ounces. And again, uh, uh, from the stats they showed, if you have the carabiners too, you're looking at 23 ounces. So we're not talking super crazy ultralight, but also um, the weight rating is gonna be a lot more. Um, I have some really lightweight, actually my primary hammock, my digital camo one that you've seen in plenty of videos, that thing is crazy light, but also like just for day trips like this, a lot of times I don't bring it because uh, I get a little nervous. Um, that thing gets a snag. Uh, I got to treat it pretty carefully. Something like this, I'm going to worry less about. So it's, it, it's pretty cool for that. I'll probably try this out on a winter hike too, because it's netless. And in the winter or right now, even no bugs. Um, but what I do usually use is the sock that I pull around me that you may have seen in some of my winter videos. So I think I'm going to take this for a spin on, um, winter trip sometime this season and really test it out. So you'll see it more in the field later, but I figured I was kind of excited out here today. I'd just show you guys a little sneak preview of it. Oh, here's something I didn't mention yet that makes this unique and I want to try it out more. It's pretty simple, but it's a little fabric tensioner. So it's a piece of shock cord through a loop there and around to a loop over there. And I have to experiment with it more but uh, apparently this can pick up the, um, the slack, you know, where you get that extra fabric kind of hanging in your face, kind of encroaching around you when you're in the hammock. You mean like this? <laughs> That's a great... Well, it's showing on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Like this. Okay, so you're laying down. Oh, and you disappeared. Okay, right. And then over here, right. So we're going to experiment with it. Actually, when he reached out to me about this hammock at first, I'm not even kidding, the first thing I thought of was I'm gonna get this thing just to try it out um, for Sarah. Aww, you're so sweet. I know I'm not just saying that because you're there, darling. <laughs> um, <laughs> because um, she does often complain about that getting her face. It's just the nature of the design with a netless hammock, or, or even with a net. But anyway, um, so gonna give that a try. Maybe in the field I'll give you an update on how that works. But that's interesting. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You got your built-in stuff sack there. Not bad. You stuff the whole thing into itself and you can pretty much pack it up without it ever hitting the ground. That's nice. And yeah, that about sums it up. So that's the Go Outfitters uh, hammock. Uh, nice nylon 70D hammock netless. Oh, I should mention, uh, I saw on his um, Kickstarter, he does have the option of having a net too. So if that's a deal breaker for some of you. Um, not the end of the world. I have to look into it a little more, but there is a net option. But again, it's winter right now. So when somebody uh, mentions a netless hammock to me, it's, it's go time. That's just wasted weight really um, to bring around, bring along bug protection. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to get out there and try it. So I will be doing that. Oh, he also sent me another item, but I'm not gonna show you yet. It's actually not out yet. He had three prototypes and he sent me one. So I thought, uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to make another video to show you that, um, but not quite yet. One thing at a time. All right. Well, there you have it. The Go Outfitters hammock. Until uh, next time, I'm Syntax77. You have fun out there. <laughs>